Mr. Deity. This is Cleveland, and you're listening to the RBJ Radio. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. This is Days, and you're listening to Giami Journey Radio. Yo, this is Quasi Low in the Cap City, and you are listening to Giami Journey. Peace, this is Brother Hot Tim, and you are on Giami Journey Radio. This is a Heart of a Symbol production. Where we strive to blow up your old paradigms. Going directly into tribal quotes. Tribal quotes to rebroadcast as we can only bring it to you here on Giami Journey Radio. And the show is Tribal Quotes and we are on day 50. Great day, great day, great day. This is Brother Hot Tim coming at you live and direct. Man, um, I've been waiting and anticipating. This is my first um, tribal quote show over the Hangout. I don't know how many people is going to show up, if anybody's going to show up, but regardless of how um, the guests go down, we're going to have a good time. Um, I want to thank everybody that's taking the time to watch this video and basically what this is is um, uh, I'm going to run through some quick proverbs and more than likely we will pick one to discuss and in in picking the one you know we might expand a little bit because what I want to show people is that this ancient wisdom these old sayings um, some of these proverbs some of these folk tales with all my shows I'm trying to connect people back to some of the ancient wisdom because in the ancient wisdom is a lot of the answers that we are seeking in life Um, and we kind of cut ourselves off because we think that it's old-fashioned to open up a book it's old-fashioned to 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 quote a proverb when you're having a discussion It's old-fashioned to tell a story nobody wants to hear stories but if all this is true, then tell me why the movie industry is still booming. If nobody want to hear stories, tell me why um, uh, uh, music is, is still selling. Because music is about putting stories to music. You know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes throwing some of these wise sayings in with it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times to, to help you validate some of your points, you need to expand your mind and pull on some of the old wisdom. That's why we call it wisdom mining, because sometimes it's hard. All right, so now, let's get started. Um, I'm Today we're on day 50. Now, for those that are new to this, um, I've been doing um, tribal quotes for a while, and I already got 49 prior shows um, on Spreaker. Um, and I'll post up the uh, Spreaker address where you can catch up with the shows for those that's interested, um, but I'm on number 50 today, so let's get started. 
So day 50. I'm coming from the Giami Journey workbook, tribal quotes by myself, Brother Hatim. I just compiled these. I didn't create these. I just found these over um, perusing the internet, reading books, um, and, and, and talking to some wise elders who happen to remember where the quote came from. All right, so here we go. Live, live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. Mahatma Gandhi. He who is unable to live in society or, or who has no need because he is sufficient for himself must be either a beast or a god. And last, the child that is not crying has no need to be nursed. That's from Haiti. Now, for those that are interested, you can uh, post your questions up. If you don't want to get in the Hangout, if you don't want to jump right in that, on the Hangout, I'm new at this, so I'm still learning. So you can post your questions up. Um, we also have uh, a chat a chat box where those of you that are interested in, in um, having something to say, but don't necessarily want to get right on. Um, you want to let me know that you're here and you want me to, to pull you in in the best way I can, I'll do that. Also, uh, for those that um, we got questions and answers, let me make sure nobody is on. No, that's not the one. Oh, here we go, right here. All right, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screen share real quick so y'all can have a look at the so that you can have a look at the proverbs as well all right so day 50 I'm gonna read them again live as if you were to die tomorrow learn as if you were to live forever Mahatma Gandhi number two he who is unable to live in society or who has no need because he is sufficient for himself must either a beast must either must be either a beast or a god. Last, the child that is not crying has no need to be nursed. Haiti. Now we see the number one and the number two. Okay. Now this in my book, what I did, I structured um, each day as a study day. You get three proverbs and you work on those proverbs during the day. Um, you look for um, instances where you could use the proverb or the proverb would make sense because as you start living your life in a certain way, you'll start noticing different things. And this is a process and it's a 90 day process. Um, I won't get all into that. You go to the beginning of the video um, where I had the intro you know what I'm saying? I had a, um, a intro to the Hangout. You get all the information on how to work this. Um, anybody's interested in the book, if you go to the marketplace on the side of the book, you can see um, you can see it. I hope I did it right. Oops, I didn't share. I'm sorry. I was just talking. So now I'm sharing. Um, and I don't want to share like that. Like I said, I'm still learning, and that's the beautiful thing about this internet. You got to get up and you got to do it. So I want to let's do that. So here we go. So that you can see how it looks. You see are it? now listening to Giami Journey Radio. Proverbs. Now we're about to get into our discussion. This is a hard time of a doing production. it. So let me go on back to the screen. Will we strive to blow up your old paradigms? Let's chase somebody coming in. Wow. Man, modern technology, man, is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I didn't even present to everybody. I am so sorry. So let's go back. There we go. All right, so day 50. Here you go right here. I'm screen sharing. So once again, let's read it again for those that are coming in. You might not have seen them. Day 50, live, live, live as if you were to die tomorrow. 
learn if, as if you were to live forever. Mahatma Gandhi, he who is unable to live in our society or who has not, no need because he is sufficient for himself must be either a beast or a god. That's Aristotle. The last one, a child that is not crying has no need to be nursed. That's Haiti. All right, so let's jump right into this. I'm going to pull my screen back up. Boom. Let's do that. Stop. Now, here we go. So, we got three powerful proverbs. I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to start with the one from Haiti first. We get to the other ones. If there's any questions, feel free to shoot me a question. I don't know if it'll pop up on the screen. I don't even know if the text will pop up on the screen. Um, some of the people out there that may be viewing, um, let me know. Um, I don't know if you're trying to get through. I got one person out there. If you're trying to get through, hit me up. Let me know. Send me a text. My phone is up and it's running. I don't have no text on here, I don't think. All right. So here we go. Better yet, let me send a link out before. So now we get started. All right. Oh, Miss Ross is in the house. What's up? How you doing? Hello? How you doing? Come on. All right, well, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. But, hey, we're going to kick it anyway. Hopefully your sound will kick in. All right, she hung out. She fell off. She could try to get back on. So I encourage you to get back on so we can start the conversation. But now, the child that is not crying has no need to be nursed. That's the one I'm going to work on today because this one is, is going to be very powerful. This one is very powerful because this one follows a motif. Now, um, in the Native American tradition, they have a thing called umblacha, which is called um, a vision quest or crying for a vision. Um, we often hear about prophets going to a private place and in their prayer they start crying, right? Now, the, the simple aspect for me for this proverb, the child that is not crying has no need to be nursed, is the same as the squeaky wheel get the, get the oil. So when a child is, is, is in pain or a child is uncomfortable or a child, or a child is, is, um, is hungry, we will strive to feed that child. We'll make sure that that child is fed because that's our role as the parents. But a lot of times I don't think we really understand our role as parents because, and, and I know I'm going to offend a lot of y'all, right, because it's got some Bible thumpers, some Quran thumpers, and some Bhagavad Gita thumpers, but to your child, you are God. You are the closest thing to God. You know what I'm saying? So when the mother, especially the mother, that's why the, the feminine energy is so important in this whole piece of nation building that we're talking about. When we're talking about nation building, the 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 uh, the the woman is one of the most important elements. And I'm gonna put my up here for a second. So that um, y'all can see now, because because the mother, for all intent for all intents and purposes, is the first uh, uh, the first provider, the first teacher, the fo the first love of the child, and for that child, that parent is is God, is everything. That's the, a mother to a child is everything. Now the dad is a visitor. You know what I'm saying? My daughters let me know how insignificant I was when they was born. Because when they was first born, I could pick them up, but they want to deal with me because I didn't have no breasts. I wasn't able to provide them with no sustenance, so they would tolerate me. My daughters tolerated me. Now they're older, they're running around a little bit, they appreciate me more because I could take them to the park. They appreciate me more because I could do more things. But in the beginning of life, the mother is the center of their reality. And what happens a lot of times is that um, through modernization, we have started um, eliminating the role of the mother. 
because we start we 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 become so busy we start working so much right um we have to work so we take the mother away and the mother in a lot of instances take the child to a daycare facility you know what i'm saying to a factory to be reared while she's at work slaving right you know because motherhood is not that important now brother how how you get all the way on that from this proverb because when a child cries the one that that the answers first in most cases is the mother because the mother is always going to be the closest to the child that's just how that's just how it is you know what i'm saying when we look at nature and and, and, and especially for our species the mother is the closest to the child so when a child cries the child is saying hey i need to be nursed hey i need to be changed hey i want to move you know what i'm saying and then as the child starts getting older some of the selfish stuff start coming in right now I think I might got a question or a comment or something. Let's go here. Um, like I said, I'm still learning, y'all, so work with me. And I'm loving if you have a question, feel free to post it. If you have a comment, feel free to post it. You know, my chat room is open, uh, and and I'm loving this. I'm, I, got, I just got a text. All right, so now... Um, I got some people out there that's trying to join. So, Sister Janelle, all you gotta do is click on the link. Now, in the in in the hangout, I posted on the link um, where you could come directly in. I just sent you another. I'm gonna send another invitation out. I sent you an invitation. You click on it and you come on. I don't know if if your stuff wasn't working. You're not gonna be able to talk right away because um, I got it. I got it set up in a certain way. So when you come on, your mic should be on and I should be able to hear you. All right? So now, so now let me get back. So we're talking about the mother, right? And when the child cries, the child gets what it needs, right? Now, this is something that we all need to remember because with the creator, with with the, the one source with what some people call God, what some people call Allah, or, or whatever you choose to call your creator, we have a, like a parent-child relationship, right? And a lot of us forget that as a parent, right, if the creator is like our parent, sometimes we need to cry because in a sense we have become so grown that we have detached ourselves from that eternal essence that's around us. And sometimes to get a response from the eternal essence, we need to cry. This is why when you see in certain traditions, there will be certain times where, where communities of people or tribes of people or cities of people would um, gather together and celebrate, but then they also would have days of mourning. And those people that was really embedded in the culture would actually cry and wail on those days because those were the days that they needed the creator to open up to them. Oftentimes, we don't receive the spiritual help that we need because we are not acting in the right way. You know, we calm ourselves and we pray. We humble ourselves and we pray in a plain, in a plain fashion. And, you know, we, we do our hands. Y'all see me, I, I got my picture. We do our hands like this and we do a nice little solemn prayer to our creator or by whatever we choose to call the creator. We do that solemn prayer. But that solemn prayer doesn't have the energy to make it to the creator all the times. The creator is in all places at all times, but sometimes we have to unleash that cry so that we can receive the aid that we need. Some of you in your life right now, some of y'all need aid, but you're too grown to humble yourself and allow the tears to flow. You too you're too bold and you're too proud to 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 wail. And as a people, you know what I'm saying. When uh, um, I, I get into some of the special situations, like with Simba, or or when I'm blessed to go to a sun dance and I'm in a ritual environment, I'm able to cry for the the state of my people. We don't have enough we don't have enough black folks crying for the state for the state of our people. You know, I mean, we doing crazy videos and shit like that, but we're not really bemoaning the state of our black community and, 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 and to mourn the state of our community is not to surrender to it 
is seeking a aim bigger than ourselves, is realizing that there is something bigger than us that we need to call on. And regardless of what you call that force, we need that force in our community now. And in order to get it, we got to follow this proverb. The child that is not crying has no need to be nursed. Because we're not crying, we're not getting the attention of our ancestors. Because we're not crying, we're not getting the attention of our creator. You know what I'm saying? We're not acting in the right way. So sometimes we have to really humble ourselves and act. You know what I'm saying? And acts in groups. You know what I'm saying? Um, brothers, we need to get together and, and, and we really need to have a sit down, a talk, and a morning session. So we can let some of this so we can let some of this shit go. And when we let it go in our mourning and in our weeping and and in and 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 in our pleading, in our crying um, for uh, in our crying to be nursed, we open up. We open up ourselves to receive the blessings that we need as a group. You know, because it's cool to cry for you, but realize our, our our children is facing a horrible situation. Our children are facing a sad situation. Our children are facing a detrimental situation. And, you know, we we get... All right, this is Brother Hatim. No, I don't know what just happened, man. That it, it dropped. I'm still trying to figure out this YouTube stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm expanding my ram i'm moving beyond my comfort zone like some of the things i've been telling y'all over the years so i'll go to youtube i record this video and now it's not uploading the whole video i am confused right so now now first before i end this show because you know getting this way past my bedtime i want to send out shots to jacqueline c brooks thank you for listening thank you for commenting um you know, um, this is one of my this is one of my sisters from another mother, um, and uh, she's also a writer. I'm waiting for her to bring out her book so that I could go on and announce it on here. Hopefully, I'll be big enough so some of y'all will be listening to me enough to go and, and purchase her book. You know, um, so um, just sending shots out to Jack, to Jackie. Um, so now, I need to go on and let you know this. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. This is a Heart of a Symbol production. Where we strive to blow up your old paradigms. Now for those that may want to get the whole show... Go to my um, Giami Journey um, YouTube and get it, or go to my Giami Journey on my Giami Journey on Google Plus and also get the whole show. So it's been a pleasure, and thank you for taking the time to listen. Dang, I didn't even post this thing up on Facebook. Oh, oh well, it is what it is. It was good anyway. So, um, and with that, I'm out. This is Ghost in the Shell by Mr. Deer. <laughs> Mr. Deer.
I keep trying to stop, but they keep pulling me back. My sister Jackie has just sent me a text, and in it she has a point that I need to share. Jackie, thank you for being the first one. No, my fault. You're the second one. Thank you for being um, the, the, the second person to send me a, a, a live text over the show. Um, and, and basically what she wrote, she said, I think you are really hitting a great lesson on mourning. We have to stop discounting our mental health, and we must realize how we can start to heal independently as well as a community. And, and she's a prolific, prolific writer, um, and I mean, I really can't add nothing to that. And if she had something else she wanted me to say, of course, I would say it, Jackie. I would start another show just to make sure that your words were heard because I believe that you are one of the individuals um, that people need to hear from. Um, you have always had your head on your shoulders and you out there doing your thing. So um, this is Brother Hot Tim, um, and this will be the end of Jeremy Journey unless my sister send me another message. She probably typing right now. I don't know, Jack. She typing right now. I'm going to hold. I'm going to pause for a second just for you, Jack. I'm pausing right now, Jackie. I'm, I'm going to pause, Jackie. I'm going to put the music back on, Jackie. And and um, because I know you're going to send something else here. So I'm going to pause. Hear the music. <laughs> joining me for Jeremy Journey, um, whether you live or whether you catch the podcast. With that, this is Brother Hot Tim. I'm out.